this will probably be the last video of the night for me, but let's go ahead and show you how to run programs as administrator on Windows Vista. I kind of covered this slightly uh, in one video, but it was kind of combined with a whole bunch of other things. I figured it's a good idea to just pull this out and make it separate. I've just found that a whole bunch of people just don't know you can do this, and it's really really useful um, if you ever have a program in Vista that does not want to work um, you open it up gives you something about cannot access this file cannot find this file um, sometimes the mysterious unknown error uh, type messages a lot of those can usually be fixed by simply running the program as administrator now you're going wait a minute, I, I am an administrator, my account setup is an administrator, there's no problem with this. Well, even though you are an administrator, you're not. Um, with Vista, they've changed things a little bit. Pretty much, if you have administrative rights, you have those rights, you, you do have them, but they're only going to take effect until you allow them. So when you go through and you're using your computer, you're basically using it just like you're a normal user. Uh, Microsoft pretty much took the approach of everybody wants to try and have full rights to their computer, but they aren't necessarily the sharpest tool in the shed, and they are going to try and run things or do something stupid, which unfortunately I've found is kind of a case way too often. Uh, people go download something and it's you know a piece of spyware and uh, or they are browsing a page and they go into a site they really shouldn't go to and all of a sudden the web browser is trying to install something that it shouldn't have any business trying to do plugins all that other nonsense and Microsoft took care of this with the whole user access control thing if you ever go through your um, using Windows Vista and you get the little pop-up that says allow or deny or allow cancel or permit and cancel uh, that's the user access control feature I recommend keeping that on if absolutely possible it does help you know prevent some odd things from happening that you might not expect um, but anyway back on what I was saying um, you're always running as a basic user and never as a full admin until you actually specify otherwise. Um, there's two ways to do the whole run as administrator thing. You can do the run as administrator on like just this one case. Uh, like let's say uh, Ventrilo here. Let's, let's say Ventrilo doesn't work right under Vista. Which it apparently does work fine. Um, if it didn't, I would you know quickly just right click on it run as administrator just to see if it's going to work and when you hit that don't know if you're not going to be able to see this or not because it's the user account control thing uh, I hit allow and apparently on this user account I've never run it before I say no and there it is Ventrilo is up and running as an administrator so if I was getting error messages before this even happened, before it loaded up, I ran as administrator and it works fine, I know Ventrilo works fine if I run as administrator. Now let's say, well I know that works fine, but I don't want to have to right click on this thing every time say run as administrator. That's bloody annoying. So you can actually right click on it, go to properties. You go to compatibility, Drag it over towards the center of the screen, and you can actually check a box down here that says "Run this program as an administrator." Check it, hit apply, say OK. And in some cases, I've seen that um, you actually get the little Windows Security Shield showing up on the icon, kind of like this WAMP server. See how that's got the Windows Shield there. Um, I've seen sometimes it puts it there, sometimes it doesn't. I haven't really figured out a rhyme or reason for it. Um, next time you get to open it up, you allow it. You still have to hit allow. That's the whole user access control thing being there to do what it does. Um, you can turn it off for some things. 
um, but I recommend just generally keeping it on. Now let's say you run as administrator and it still doesn't work. The program still pops up, you get weird error messages, but it sure as heck worked under Windows XP. Well if you go back to that compatibility tab, you can check the box here, run this program in compatibility mode for boom. Hit the drop down list, you got all the older operating systems. I wish they had MS-DOS listed, <laughs> but of course they won't. Um, but you could try running it as Windows XP Service Pack 2. See if that takes care of it for you. Um, believe it or not, just simply telling it to run as an older program will do it. Um, there's other things you can try as well. Disabling the visual themes, disabling the DPI scaling, because sometimes the Windows will get kind of confused with the what Windows is telling it to resize itself to. Um, you can try all that stuff here. Uh, the one I would say, well, two I would say, try just to completely avoid is running 256 color mode and running 640 by 480. Um, the only reason you should ever check those is really for old DOS-like programs. Um, old video games, stuff like that. Normal desktop programs, these aren't going to make a bit of difference usually and it's just gonna make Windows do stupid things to you so just don't touch those two that's my advice of the day so that's it that's how you run programs as administrator on Vista even though you're an administrator you ain't Microsoft's still telling you what you are and what you ain't so if you got any questions, thought this was useful, hated it, liked it, want to tell your best friends about it, whatever, let us know, because it's always good to know when something's useful. Uh, feel free to shoot us an email at uh, video at defcon-5.com, or just visit our website, www.thenock.tv. And until next time, I'll see you later.